First, though, a spectacular morning launch just minutes ago for sky watchers along the Space Coast. You watched it here just minutes ago. SpaceX launched its Falcon 9 rocket from the Kennedy Space Center. News 6's Mark Lehman, he's the lucky one. He got to watch the launch in person this morning. And Mark, how would everything go? Were there people out there? Oh, it was great. There were lots of people out here. We got a chance to talk with them, and we had an up-close view here on the edge of the Indian River. Now, this is the second launch for SpaceX this week. I can tell you it was very bright out here, very hot, but everyone was uh, very happy that uh, the weather cooperated and there weren't any technical issues leading up to this liftoff. Now, you saw it here on News 6 just within the last 20 minutes or so. That Falcon 9 rocket lifting off uh, from Launchpad 39A on board was another batch of Starlink satellites. 60 are being added to SpaceX's Starlink constellation, which brings the network up to three, uh, 713 satellites. The space company hopes to eventually deploy over 40,000 satellites with the goal of bringing Internet connectivity to remote parts of the world. Uh, just a few minutes ago, we got a chance to uh, talk with a couple families out here uh, seeing a launch like this for the first time in person. Oh, it was very exciting. This was our first time uh, getting to see it in person, despite living in Florida for quite a while. So it was very exciting, and this was her first time being able to see as well. Did you like the launch? <laughs> yeah. It was really exciting, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> wasn't she cute? That little girl out here watching a launch for the first time with her family. Now, about eight minutes after liftoff, SpaceX successfully landed its first stage on a barge in the Atlantic. Now, when it comes to those star leak satellites, they should be already in orbit. SpaceX deployed the satellites about 14 minutes after liftoff. Testing for the Starlink constellation may happen later this year. And back out here live, uh, there were supposed to be uh, three launches within a span of a couple days here on the coast, but United Launch Alliance had a last second scrub on Saturday of their Delta IV heavy rocket. At this point, a date for that, uh, for a relaunch of that rocket has not been set. But we're told it could happen as soon as uh, this weekend. For now, reporting live in Titusville, Mark Lehman getting results, News 6.